Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, Live in the Corporate Pilot Life. We've got a little downtime here, so I thought I'd take a little time and, uh, and answer the most commonly asked question that you guys ask of me, and that's how I became a corporate pilot and, uh, and the timeline of how I got to where I am now. So the first thing you should know is the first time I flew an airplane is I was five years old in this tiny little airport in North Texas. Um, my dad and his friend took me up on this little, I don't even know what it was, maybe a 172, 182, something like that, single engine prop plane. Um, they let me fly it around and from then on that's all I wanted to do was be a pilot. Now all growing up from there through high school I wasn't that kid that knew everything about airplanes and knew the details of every little thing. I, I, I read a lot but I didn't really do any flight training or official training I guess. But uh, after high school I applied to become uh, a pilot at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in, uh, in Daytona Beach. They accepted me so three months after graduation I was moving out moving to Florida. So. I started my flight training, that was in 2003. Uh, it took me three years to get my private instrument, uh, multi-engine single, multi-engine commercial, uh, CFI, which is a flight instructor, and CFII, which is flight instructor instrument. Did all of that, plus a bachelor's degree in three years. Um, so I was a little busy. After that, that was 2006, I became a flight instructor at Embry-Riddle. They needed instructors, I needed flight time, so it worked out. I spent three years as a flight instructor there, and in that three years, uh, I also added my multi-engine instructor, so I could start teaching in the, uh, in the twin engine airplanes, which was a Seminole and a, and a Diamond Twin Star at Embry-Riddle at that time. Um, 2009, my now wife, then fiance, uh, moved back to Texas. She got a job as an engineer, and I got another job as a flight instructor. Then uh, in 2010, I started working at Flight Safety International there in, in Dallas. They put me in the right seat of a G4 simulator, taught me everything that there was to know about the G4. I was given unlimited access to the knowledge, to the simulator, to the, the materials, to learn the airplane as well as I possibly could. Spent about a year and a half doing that, um, and then I started applying for any G4 jobs. At this point, I'd never even flown a turboprop. Uh, to this day, I've still never, never flown a turboprop. Um, so at that point, I had just flown little 172s, Seminoles, 310s, stuff like that. Uh, but I needed someone to put me in the right seat of a G4. And, uh, and I finally found that guy, and that, that idiot became John. He hired me in 2011, put me in the right seat of a G4, and, and I knew the books, I knew the simulator, but he taught me how to fly the airplane. So that was six years ago. We've been, uh, we've been flying uh, uh, G4s together for the past six years, and it's been great. We've, we've learned a lot, I've learned a lot, and that brings us up to today. So. Uh, I hope you guys learned a little something about my history of how I got to where I am today. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. You know, I'll respond to your questions. You guys have hopefully figured that part of it out. Uh, one of the other big questions that I, I get from you guys is, do you need to be a flight instructor to become a professional pilot? And the answer is no. Um, I did. It worked out well for me. That's when I really learned how to fly airplanes. But a lot of people don't. Um, John never really did the CFI thing. He, he jumped into the jets a little bit earlier, so it worked out really well for him. We're going to get his story from his mouth at some point. You guys are going to have to help pressure him into uh, to getting his story, I think. I've been working on him, and we'll, we'll try and get it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give me the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Ask some questions, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.